G'day Gemini, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming toward you as it now. See what's going on, eh? So this is a uh, general reading. <laughs> Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, and views. Every single one of you is so greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And of course, the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. All right. Let's start with a message for you, Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. <laughs> I know you probably hate that. <laughs> Ooh, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Ooh, ooh, Gemini. A new love. In a goofy mood with your energy. Worth waiting for. Divine timing isn't working your love life. Passion. Lay your heart and soul to sing with joy. Ooh, it's a past life relationship. You feel like you've known each other before. This is new though. But you feel like you know this person. Ooh, looking to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Wow. So you've met somebody new. You're waiting for that divine timing, for that passion to kick in. You feel like you already know them. Ooh. You feel like you've known each other already. And my sign's falling down again. Ooh, Gemini. Ooh. What's this? Ooh, separation, unrequited love. What? Let your friends help you. So you've separated from an unrequited love. You let your friends help you get through that. Um, yeah. That's, yeah, you've been waiting for this passionate new, new person. Yeah. You've been waiting for that passionate person. That you feel like you know. You think they could be the one. False mask. Give your relationship a chance with the air. Uh, yeah, not under the deception of um, giving it a chance with your ex again. Yeah, you got this new love. But, yeah, watch out for the red flags here. Keep an open mind. But I think the red flags, maybe your ex might find out about it. Um, they might be not too happy that you're not interested anymore. So you might let, have to um, let your friends help you keep this new love a secret. <laughs> All right, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Yeah, get your friends to block them. Don't dare. Help you keep them away from that new love, interfering with your new love, Gemini. Mm -hmm. All right, they have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Mm -hmm. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. And religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Oh, this could be the eggs. But I don't know yet. Well, I got a feeling it might be. Mm. Romantic feelings. Express your love. Oh, sorry. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And wedding this situation involves marriage. Love yourself first. This could be the ex. They've still got the feels for you and they may come in and try and express some sort of love. Very optimistic that they can get this commitment back with you. But they're just... Mm, I think they're being a bit selfish here. Because they're just playing with you. Oh, very soon they're going to see that you have a soulmate. And their, their addictions to the fact that you're their true love and things aren't stable with you too. Ooh. They're going to want you to free yourself from that love that you deserve to reconcile with them. 
Yeah, that let your friends help you was sticking up at the top there. Yeah, and your friends are looking at that. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh, well, let's find out. Yeah. Wow, calling in this old, yeah, I wonder. I mean, this could be the new person. They're calling you in. They've called in a soulmate here, wanting to disconnect with you, hoping you have the same belief systems here. But I'm feeling that's the ex, definitely under there. But this could be the ex trying to call you back in, and they retreat, realizing that. Um, mm, they need to. Uh, oh well. Anyway, message for you, Gemini. Let's find out, hey. <laughs> Ooh, seven of Earth. A Shaman, which is the Hierophant. Five of Fire. Two of Air and the Four of Earth wanted to show itself too. Yeah, I think you want to invest in this new love here. You're looking at a commitment with this person, but you you are aware that there's competition, that your ex is still around. That's why you haven't made a decision yet, and you've been holding back from this person a little bit. Mm, holding back from offering that love, page of water. Yeah, because you know your ex is still hanging around. Ooh, oh yes. Yep, the afterlife, because you're in that afterlife of the life after that ex. Oh, yeah, because that, I did your head in, it was a nightmare with that person, and you're now in that, um, after the, after the nightmare, in that life after, yeah, because there's two extra cards in this deck, the afterlife, before the new beginning. There's also another card before this one, after the world. But yeah. Yeah, two nines. It was a nightmare. You were totally guarded here. Queen of Air, this is you. you got your sword up here. Yeah, you're being very protective of this new love that you have. Yeah, that innocence of that new beginning. Yeah, you're protecting it. It's your wish here. Yeah, so you're making that judgment call to have very little flirty communication with this person here. Hmm. Wow, yeah, no, you made that judgment call that you're not dealing with that past person with their flirtiness and playfulness here. You're not interested in their offer. You've made your choice. You want this beautiful new love with someone that's stable, grounded, and loving. Queen of Earth. Yeah. Ooh. Gemini. Yeah, you, you be careful. This past person isn't going to like it. Yeah, the judgment call, all in the afterlife. Yeah, you made a judgment. <laughs> you made the judgment call, the right judgment call, that there is life after, there is a better love life after this ex. King of air, yeah. You are very clear on that. You've turned your back on that past person. You're very clear that, that you've cut that out. You made the right judgment call. You're about to start something new here. Alright, tell me about calling in your soulmate for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Seven of Earth. Mm. So whoever's been calling you in wants to invest in you too. Okay. Now that could be the ex reviewing the past, wanting to call you back in. But I'm also feeling this could be the... Yeah, I'm not sure who this energy is yet. That under the deck. Yeah. They see you're having romantic feelings for somebody else. They want to come and express love. They're optimistic that they can get you back. But it's selfish. Because they're just coming into play. 
Very, yeah, like I said, very soon they're going to see you found a soulmate and they're not going to like that because they're codependent on you being their true love. Mm, and they're going to feel so unhealthy, unstable that they've been freed. They think that they deserve your love and they'll want to reconcile, but... Mm, what's at the bottom here for this? That's definitely them. Ooh, Nine of Earth. Single, stable, grounded, independent. This is not your past person. This is the new person. Wanting to invest in you. Yeah, because your past person's not stable. This person's very stable, grounded, independent. They've been patiently waiting here with moderation. Nine of water. Um, that's temperance. Nine of water, queen of earth. And three of earth. Yeah. They've been patiently waiting here. Being emotionally fulfilled on their own, they're doing really good. They're looking for a stable, grounded, loving commitment here. They're willing to work on this with you. Ten of fire, seven of air and the sun. With the rook, which is a tower. <clears throat> yeah, because they've been patiently waiting. Because they've seen you carrying that burden. That you got cheated and lied to. With someone that you thought was your happiness that all fell apart with. They've been waiting for you to get your confidence back. And for you to be single with the hermit. Oh yeah, they be yeah. This is the new person that that first card is anyway. Oh yeah, death. They've been waiting for the for you to transform, for you to end things, so that they could step in and have a begin. There you go, page of water. They've been waiting for things to change for you to transform, for you to end things with that other person, so that they can come in and offer you love. Wow. All right. Tell me about retreat for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Okay. And the two of earth and the shaman, which is the hierophant. Yeah, they retreated because they didn't want to be juggled by you and someone else. They're looking for commitment here. They wanted a traditional relationship with you. Yeah, two, I'm seeing that too. The two fingers, two. There's two people in a relationship. There's two birds flying out here. There's two. And there's two. But they retreated. Because they were unsure about whether they could have a relationship with you. They may want to retreat with you as well. Wondering whether you will want to retreat with them. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Queen of Air. It's your energy. Mm. Yeah, they want to come correctly. They do not want to... Um, well, they also don't want to get in the way of this... Um, your past person. If they're pissed <laughs> that you are with someone else, they don't want to, yeah, cause a fight. But they also have retreated because they want a commitment here. They want to come in when it's correct to come in. So they've been calling you in. They've been single and waiting to invest in you. And they've retreated until it is the right time to come in. For of us, they've been holding back from you. Five of water, three of fire, five a uh, knight of earth. Yeah, they've been they've been holding back. So disappointed that you know, being disappointed that they've had to wait, but it was worth the wait because here they come offering stability. Not yet though, feet haven't started moving yet. Yeah, they're still aware of the burden of that past person that cheated on you, waiting for you to get that clarity. Well, we need to see clearly that the tower has fallen on that past person. Waiting for you to feel confident again and be single. 
yeah. Staying confident that you will get single. <laughs> but yeah, they want to come in correctly, so that's why they retreated. Then they weren't going to get involved or get in the middle. Yeah, it's been disappointing for them to have to wait. They've also seen your disappointment too. It's been disappointing for them because they want this long-term happiness with you. They want this happiness with you, but they've seen your disappointment. Hmm. Okay, tell me about religious factors for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not coming out that way. I'm not taking a card's fallen out because it's my fault. <laughs> Ooh, to a fire. Religious factors. So they know what they believe. They've made their choice. They want you and they know what they believe when it comes to love. They don't know what you're going to pick, but they know what they believe when it comes to love. And they've chosen you. For a fear, but you know, they're totally aware that they know that you need to heal. Yeah, they're at a crossroads, and you know they believe they know, they know you have the same belief systems when it comes to love, but they are at a bit of a crossroads, waiting while you heal, and wondering if they're going to have to heal if you go back to your past person. Ace of Cups, Ace of Water, the Moon, High Priestess, and the Six of Fire. Wow, they've wanted this new love with you for a while. They've been keeping it a secret, hiding in the shadows, keeping it a secret. How much they want your attention. They want this to be successful. Uh, yeah, and they're coming in with that truth here. Whoa, look, Ace, Ace of Cups, Ace of, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Water, Air and Earth. Yeah, coming, want to come in when, with truthful honesty when, ev when everything's been cleared up with your past person. So they can offer you that stability and this beautiful love. Yeah, I'm waiting for that Mother Earth, which is the well card, for the cycle to close out. And they can stop holding back all that emotional love that they have for you. Mm, yeah, they didn't want to sabotage anything here by having a third party. Yeah, that's why mm, they saw you being sabotaged as well. Yeah, they've just been waiting for you to click, get a clear head here. Stand up for yourself. And for the work to, yeah, to, to see you stand up for yourself. Put that work in to turn the wheel. Make that judgment call. That there is something better after the life with that past person. A goddess. <laughs> Male or female emperor. Empress, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they've been waiting for, to come in and create with you. But they haven't made a decision yet because you're still color carrying that burden. But they do want this long-term love with you. Oh, they do. But yeah, they've retreated because, well, I'm also getting they've retreated because they know that you're still juggling with your commitment to your past person that's actually mm, quite cold. Well, yeah. Well, also knowing that you need to cut somebody out. Hmm. All right, waiting for you to do that. Message for Gemini. Respect, gratitude, empathy, and unity. This is your person. This is your person, this person here, this new love. 
they're being very respectful here totally grateful for the and showing gratitude for any time that they spend together but they do see it from your side <clears throat> waiting for this unit unity to come together and have that joy with you and commitment wow compassion <sighs> stop it come on what is the message for Gemini Hold your horses, mate. <laughs> it's not your turn yet. <laughs> Message for Gemini, please. Spontaneity, detachment, willingness, and priorities. Yeah. So, don't spontaneously just... Well, you're freely embracing this new situation. <laughs> but yeah, you got to make sure the detachment's done with the other person first. So yeah, it's great with this spontaneity of this new person. But detach from the old first. Be willing to do that work. Get your priorities straight here, Gemini. Yeah, take ownership for what you need to do to get harmony in this relationship. Because this person's holding back until you're free yeah be in the present make sure everything's cleared up to everybody's satisfaction here and that will bring the trust into the situation don't try and get creative and try and juggle both of them because there's a cause and effect to that won't come out good doll yeah express kindness and be responsible mm. Yeah, you don't have to tolerate that person from the past. You've evolved from that. Um, you just have to help them accept the fact that you are ra have raised your vibration. <coughs> and your vision is now elsewhere. All right, let's get to them. Give me at least three cards. Uh, give me three cards for the love energy. There they are. Coming towards Gemini. Didn't even have to. So they've got kindness. That's beautiful. Expression. That's beautiful. Same cards too. And cause and effect. Yeah. Mm. Feeling their kindness. They, they feel like a beautiful energy, this new person. I, I'm sure they are ready to express some sort of love for you, to you. But they are aware of the cause and effect of what is still going on for you. <coughs> Compassion. Yeah. They're definitely able to have, be compassionate for what has to be dealt with for you. Um, yeah, in order to th there, for there to be a commitment here and f for you to release your old commitment. Yeah, taking action to transform this. Yeah, very compassionate. As long as they see that there is the chat, you know, that you're looking at a commitment with them and you're taking action to transform and end what you had before yeah they're willing to cooperate here if the ending is joy and that's yeah and the purpose is unity between you two wow <coughs> yeah yeah <coughs> this is a nice energy coming towards you and that past person's not happy about it <laughs> but you know let your friends help you. Make sure you end things with that past person before you get anywhere um, into show. You know, this past person that, you know, that needs to be sorted out first. <coughs> oh, they don't like that. This new person has retreated until um, you you do the healing that you need to do. And close out that old cycle. Alright. Message for you, Gemini. They will come correctly. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. And the Lovers. Yeah, I see. 
that long-term commitment that you were in before, you've got to balance that out first. It's going to be a painful ending, but yeah, that it needs to be ended before you choose your new soulmate. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because, um, you know, their offer, your offer's not going to be accepted by this new person until you've closed out the old. Yeah. They won't accept it. They've manifested you in, and there will be the communication of love, page of cups, water energy, and this beautiful love between you two once the past conflict has been take, taken action and stand your ground, close out that cycle. Yeah. It's the same message over and over. But that's all right. That's good. We know what the message is. Yeah. That conflict. Yeah. The competition. Yeah. Take action. Stand your ground. Close it out. Yeah. Because they're not going to... Yeah. They're not going to... You've got to make that decision to cut that out. To have this new love. I know all you think about is this long-term stability with this new love, but that past needs to be healed and sorted so you can have your wish of this new beautiful best love in the deck. Otherwise your past is going to get in the way. Alright, tell me about kindness for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Swords. They're a very kind-hearted person here. They feel if the wheel doesn't turn in their favour, they will be heartbroken. But also they know that it's going to take time for this heartbreak to be healed. So it's almost like a kindness... To the past person you were dealing with here, I guess they've been in their shoes. Um, yeah, they're doing a kindness to this past person and they're going to allow some time to go by. Because that other person will be heartbroken here. Before they come in to you. Yeah, the competition, I told you. Five of Wands. Yeah, the competition. Doing a kindness to the competition, they're going to wait and let some time go by. Enough time to go by that this person that's heartbroken isn't going to feel like, isn't going to get in the way as well. You know, you don't want them to feel like you, Gemini, have been seeing this other person behind their back this whole time because, oh, you straight away just gone and got with somebody else. No, and they don't want to be the rebound person either, but... Yeah, they're doing a kindness to that heartbroken person here, the competition. Yeah. I'll let the cycle close out. Yeah. They're not going to make a decision until that's done. Then they'll charge in with that love. <laughs> Knight of Swords. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Oh, yes. They, what? Yeah, the cycle's got to close out first. They're not going to make a decision until it's, yeah, that other person's closed out the cycle yeah then they'll charge in with this new love for sure but they're not going to get stuck with the eight of swords into something that could be reconciled here with the judgment card yeah they're not going to hang around in the middle of this yeah knight of wands seven of wands and the death card yeah yeah they'd like to charge in passionately but they're going to stand their ground and do the right thing and make sure that the the cycle is ended, that everything has closed out and ended for you with that other person. They'll wait. They're going to wait. Yeah. Which is really nice. This is a genuinely kind, caring person, Gemini. You are so lucky. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, because they want this long-term stability with you. They don't want this to be wrecked by 
past relationships still being in the way. Earth energy. Loving as a queen, but stable, grounded, and committed. They want to make sure they're not being the rebound and that you have cleared your old energy. And the old energy is let go of you too. All right, tell me about expression for this love energy. Ooh. The world. Yeah, they're going to express that to you. They're going to ex... Mm -hmm. They may even express that they want to create a whole new world with you is what I'm hearing. But I'm also feeling that they know... They may express the fact that until the cycle's been closed out completely, um, I don't think it's a good idea for us to get together right now. Yeah, they're going to wait. Three of Wands, yeah. They're going to wait till it's closed out. And they'll tell you that. They're going to express that to you. That they're going to wait. Yeah, they don't want to get in the middle of the, a breakup. No. Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Temperance, Queen of Cups, Water Energy, Best Love in the Deck, and the Hangman. Yeah. Yeah. They are very passionate and confident and independent here. Very sexy. <laughs> they see you as sexy too, doll. But they'll wait. They are being patient here. They got a lot of love. They've got the best love in the deck they want to give you. But yeah, they see it from the other perspective here. They see it from a different perspective. That's why they're being patient. Yeah, there's passion between you two, that's for sure. They're feeling that. But they're patiently waiting so they can have this beautiful love. And that's the perspective that they're looking at here. You're coming in with that passionate action and that flirting, page of wands, knight of wands, fire energy, in secret. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Doing that in secret, nah. It's like, st they want stability. They're going to hold back from any of that third party situation stuff. Yeah. They'd rather move forward to calmer waters once you've healed. Yeah. Yeah, you, King of Swords, male or female. Yeah, once you've healed and you're very clear of mind, that's when they'll finally make that decision to come in with that love. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but at the moment, no, nah, they won't take your offer. Tell me about cause and effect for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. I really like their energy. It's so mature. It's really nice. Wow. The sun. See, if everything is clear and open, out in the open, there can be happiness. Once everything's cleared up, the cause and effect, see, there won't be that any backlash. Won't be any drama. Everything will be bright and sunny and good if things are done the right way. <clears throat> yeah, that healing. Yeah, see, the he the healing has to be done here. And that way the happiness can happen. They understand the cause and effect of what what will happen. And for things to be happy between you two... The, you have to clear the energy with your past person and you both, well, you've got to heal, but also your past person's got to heal and and be over that. The clarity has to be there as well, that it is closed out. Then the happiness will come between you two and nothing will stop it. King of Swords, see? That's your energy, air energy, the two of swords. King of Cups, Water Energy, and the Strength Card. Yeah. Yeah. They need to have clear understanding and communication with you to um, be very honest and open and mature about this. Be logical. Be logical. A decision cannot be made right now. 
they're holding back their love. They've got so much love they want to give you. We saw the Queen of Cups before. They hold it. They're having to control it. Yeah, yeah. And they're fighting that beast to hold it back, staying strong here. <laughs> but yeah, the third party that uh, has to be moved on from first. Yeah. Then there will be that beautiful love. Yeah. All right. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. All right, Gemini, what would you like to say at the bottom of the deck? I'm single and ready for love. I know you are. I know you are. With your past person still hanging around. I can't give you what you want. I'm afraid of commitment, and I'm waiting for an apology. Wow. So you're single and ready for love. Yeah. Um, oh. So you're single and ready for love, but... I can't give you what you want is because you're afraid of that past person you were committed to. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to apologize to this person because, uh, uh, yeah, and you should have told them how you felt and you hope they can forgive you because you're, you're afraid of your past person. Wow. So maybe you can't close out that cycle. You're single and ready for love, but closing out the cycle and... Well, you're just going to have to reject that past person when they come back in. You're afraid of that past person, aren't you? Ooh, what are they sort of hold have they got over you, Gemini? What's going on? This person's aware that you need to heal from something. Maybe you're not realizing that. Because they've got the Four of Swords twice here. And the cause and effect is that, yeah, if you don't heal from that fear you have, letting go of that past person, um, how can there be that happiness? How can that be religious factors? That could be the, the Hierophant, the commitment card. How can they have that commitment with you? They're waiting for you to decide to heal. What have we got here? We've got cards flying out all over the place. You're not available and you should have told them how you felt. You only want to be with them, but you hope they can forgive you. But you were single and ready for love a minute ago. Oh, they were separated. Oh, this is for your past person. I'm not available. I should have told you how I felt. It's what you want to say to them. And this new one, I only want to be with you. I hope you can forgive me. For um, not seeing who they... That, yeah. They were offering something so much beautiful. So more, much more beautiful than what you were putting up with that with. But, you know, we deal with relationships and we break up when it's not right in our own ways. So, wow, what's at the bottom? Can't do this anymore. Yeah, that's right. Hey, what are you going to do? You're going to do something here, Gemini. You can't keep having your past person interfere with your love. You've got to do something about it, Dale. All right, give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Gemini, please. That's one. Oh, there we go. We got them. I think that, that one was before they jumped out, and then there's that one on the top of the deck. Well, 
flipped over in the deck. Okay, so they have, you make my skin tingle. Oh, yes, you do. I'm afraid it will never work out. Yeah, they're worried that the other person's going to get in the way all the time. I'm not good enough for you. Ooh. They could be worried that you don't think that they're good enough for them, but I think it's more that they think it's... Um... <sighs> yeah, if this isn't cle cleared up, the past person isn't cleared up, that's not good enough for them. It's got to be sorted. Um, there are, I was raised not to show emotion, that's not true. I think they're not going to show you any emotion until this is sorted out. And I bury myself in work to forget you. Yeah, they're trying not to think about you. Because they know that you're not really available yet. You are. But, yeah. They're just doing a kindness to this past person here. And I think once the past person has closed out the cycle, that's when things will be okay. I don't think it's anything to do with you. Well, yeah, just don't go back to that past person. They want to make sure that you're not going to go back to. I'll contact you soon. So they do want to contact you. I'm in a codependent situation right now. I think they feel like that um, you are still in a codependent situation where your past person is still codependent on you. And I'm not saying that you're codependent on them, that they're codependent on you. You feel like home. Oh, they feel so comfortable with you and we can work it out. They definitely want things to work out between you two. I wish things were different, but yeah, I think it's going to have to be on hold for a little bit. Don't crack up with your ex-person, it's not their fault. This new person just wants to make sure that the old person isn't going to interfere. And that's fair enough. They wish things were different, that they could just be with you. Because, oh, they want to love holding you, you know. And they're sorry if this hurts you. As much as they do want to hold you too, they, you know, they wish it was different, but they are actually trying to show compassion to the past person. You might not care, but <laughs> they do, so, you know, they want to do things correctly. They, you know, it's, it's, will benefit you both in the long run, so, yeah. I see where they're coming from, yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's your reading. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll do another reading in a few days' time and we'll see what's going on then, Gemini. All right. So just be patient. There is a method to their madness. <laughs> I totally see where they're coming from. They want this to be awesome between you two. So, oh, good. Alright, well thanks for watching, all the best, take care, and I'll catch you later.